Now we're looking at stoichiometry worksheet two, which is the mole to mole stoichiometry problems. If you remember the last worksheet, we learned how to create mole to mole ratios. And this worksheet will actually be applying them to a problem. If you look at the instructions, it says write and balance the equation. Start with the moles given, include the unit and the formula, use the appropriate mole ratio to solve the problem. So we're gonna to have to start by balancing our equation. And number one, it's already balanced for us. We can see that there's already a coefficient, which is, implies it's already been balanced. And even if we went to go check, we would see that I have two nitrogens here. I also have two nitrogens here. And if you continued so forth, you'd find everything to be balanced. So if we look at our problem, we're gonna start with figuring out what we're given. So 3.5 moles of H2SO4, are used in the reaction, how many moles of NH3 are required? So I always wanna know where am I starting from? And then where is it that I'm trying to get to? So what I'm starting with is 3.5 moles of H2SO4. I'm gonna put that over one and now I need to create the appropriate mole ratio. Now, if we remember, whatever I'm trying to get rid of, I wanna put that at the bottom. So if I have moles of H2SO4 here, I'm gonna put moles of H2SO4 here. And then whatever I'm trying to get to is what I wanna put on top. So I wanna know how many moles of NH3 there are. So moles of NH3. Three. Now I'm going to look at my equation to figure out what that relationship is. So for moles of NH3, if I look at NH3, I only have two, so I'm going to put that two up here. If I go to H2SO4, there's no coefficient here, which doesn't imply zero, it implies one. Now I've set up my problem, and I know I can cancel out like units, and that leaves me with 3.5 times 2 divided by 1 times 1, which is going to leave me with 7, and the unit here is moles of NH3.